Let me show you how I capture VGA together with this VGA scaler. Here we have the 286 turbo build, a VGA splitter, here we have the VGA scalers and here is my capture system with a uh, capture card inside. But first we need to build a new power supply because I was using this Eomega zip drive power supply and this is a correct 5 volt but this one is only 1 ampere and it was getting really hot. It was working but the adapter was like on uh, almost melting so uh, this power supply is not strong enough so I found this uh, old TomTom Tom power supply from a navigation system uh, and this one is 5 volt 2 amperes by the electronic store I bought the uh, right connectors they were 2 euro 50 each so I think I overpaid a little bit so let's get my soldering iron and make the cable. I'm not a soldering expert so I don't gonna learn you to solder. I already checked with my multimeter that the middle pin is the positive and the sides are the negative. I also measured the new adapter and the middle wire is positive and the side shielding is the negative. And don't forget to first put on the plastic sleeve on the cable before soldering it. connector is installed now, the power supply is plugged in, so let's measure how much volt we have. 5.1 volt, so that's correct. So let's power up the VGA scaler. And the LED is uh, turned on, so that's correct. So let's talk about the setup. We have a 286 machine here with a CRT monitor. And the VGA cable from the computer goes in this VGA splitter. So it goes into here and here it, the monitor is connected so I have no latency when gaming and I use a short VGA cable which is actually a uh, 3DFX Voodoo pass through cable to this VGA scaler and the HDMI cable goes into my uh, streaming and capture machine into an Avermedia game broadcaster HD and I use OBS software so I can make recordings here or even live stream my DOS setup if I want to. So why do we need this scaler? Because the Avermedia Game Broadcaster HD has a VGA port to record VGA. But in DOS machine when it is booting up it changes the resolution all the time and the refresh rates. And also when you start a game it changes. And sometimes it changes in a mode that the Avermedia doesn't support. So that's why we have this box. So here we have a VGA in and it supports all the DOS resolutions, all the refresh rates and it converts it to uh, a DVI and uh, I put it now on full HD interlaced 50 frames per second out and that works the best with the AVR media because if I put it on progressive the AVR media give the white dots so I solved that now but I want to have a different capture card because Avermedia has some problems with higher frame rates. The brand of the VDA scaler is Kevin, Kevin and the VDA2 DVI scaler plus and I will put down in the description the exact name of this model and here on front we have the 5 volt in and a power LED and I think they had a remote control with infrared but I don't have them because I bought this second hand on uh, eBay and if you want to buy it new it's like 300 euros and I bought it now for 30 euros without a power supply. So in the front we have a DVI out and we can convert that to HDMI and we have manual buttons. So you can set a lot of stuff into the menus and it works just like an on-screen display from a monitor. I can record the audio in two ways. I can use my Focusrite uh, USB uh, audio interface with XLR to this uh, microphone here and just record 
how the computer sounds or if I want to came I just have an, a long cable from the sound card directly into the computer and I can still hear it over the speakers and here we have both audio inputs this is the XLR microphone and this is the desktop audio if you want to play in game on your system because of the VDH splitter you have just your own monitor and you can play it without latency and then through the scaler it goes into the computer and you see it here on screen and you simply press start recording and after playing stop recording then you go to the directory where you store your uh, recordings and then you will have a video file that you just can import in your video editing software so here you have it my VGA capture setup to record DOS games with a splitter and a scaler so thanks for watching please like and share this video subscribe and leave a comment you can join retro machines on Facebook and you can support me monthly on patreon or you can use my Amazon affiliate links Give us targets or get below.